Hey guys, uh, James here from Manifest Griefing, and I'm bringing you guys a tutorial on how to code a Minecraft client. And uh, the reason why I'm making this is because I'm, or when I look up tutorials on how to do things, when I don't know how to do things, I see guys just giving out the codes to all these uh, clients, and they're not even explaining like. Uh, what each code means and that eventually leads to people being so dependent on these guys and that just leads them to being spoon fed and what that is is they don't know what they're doing they're just um they just want the code and they're pasting it in and calling themselves editors um or coders but um yeah th so um I'm gonna be teaching you guys um, the Java as I'm actually teaching you guys Minecraft coding. So hopefully this helps you out, and hopefully you guys can eventually make your own client and even make your own mods. So um, yeah, let's just get started. Uh, we're going to be using a program called Eclipse. You can download that at eclipse.org, I believe. And we're going to be using Minecraft Patcher 5 for Minecraft 1.0. And uh, if you don't already know how to set it up, or if you don't already have it set it up, um, you're gonna have to look up some tutorials on that because I don't feel like doing that tutorial because there are already a lot of tutorials on that. So let's um, open up our Project Explorer. It should already be opened up. If you don't know how, to open it it's window uh, show view other and it should be under general so uh, we're gonna go to client SRC and what SRC is is your sources and net.minecraft.src now once you click that you're gonna get a lot of Java files or class files now all I want you to focus on in this tutorial is GUI in-game so uh, just look for that right there GUI in-game.java double click that and I already um, did a few codings because um, uh, when you're eventually eventually you're going to get into hotkeys right so um, you're going to have to import this so right after Java dot awt.color it'll look like that you just want to press enter and then put that in so import space org dot lwjgl dot input dot keyboard semicolon and the keyboard is capitalized and all this coding is going to be in the description no worries guys and after that you're going to want to go down to public class GUI in game extends GUI and right after that squiggly bracket you're just gonna put enter and paste that in private boolean key states bracket semicolon and after that you're going to have um, a public GUI in game Minecraft Minecraft and then after that opening squiggly bracket you're going to want to put in key states equals new boolean bracket 256 closing bracket semicolon and sorry if I'm um going a little fast for you but like I said all the coding is going to be in the description so no worries and after that you're going to it's going to look like this and you're just going to want to paste this in and um all all that importing we just did is um going to enable check keys so you're going to be able to do key binding and if you don't already know what that is uh, that's using a key to toggle commands on and off so you're going to want to scroll down about halfway until you see all these font renderer dot drawstring with shadow drawstring all that stuff and at the closing bracket right after gl11 dot gl blah 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 you're gonna want to put it else and then enter and what that does is all the crap uh, right here plus whatever we're about to put in so 
Uh, for this, this is just the basics. So uh, we can just put a watermark. So by the way, what a watermark is is just to tell you what your or like what the name of the client is. So font renderer dot draw, and then capital S in string, capital W in width, capital S in shadow, and then parentheses, and then a quotations, quotation mark, and then you can put pretty much any text in here, and uh, we're just gonna put, let's just name it the turtle client, turtle client version 0 0.1, and like I said that's the text so now you're gonna wanna go outside the quotation mark but you're still inside the the parentheses so now comma space and you're gonna get all these errors but that's normal um, now you're gonna wanna put a 2 and what that 2 represents is the space from the left if that makes any sense so now comma space 2 and that second two is the space from the top so now we're gonna put another comma space 0x um, and this 0x is colors so FF for solid color AF for a transparent color and we're just gonna stick with solid colors for now since it's a text FF and then two or four F's is um is like a turquoise color I know th I think 3F's is like a darkish co uh, darkish blue and then 6F's is just um, uh, white so I'm gonna stick with a uh, uh, turquoise color and then semicolon at the end and we can save that and if we load that up let's see how long we've been recording 7 minutes okay I don't wanna make this tutorial too long so uh, right there um, if we load that world right there it says turtle client version 0 0.1 now another thing you can do hopefully this doesn't take too long um, we can uh, just right click on anything here uh, new and class and you can name this whatever you want I'm just gonna put name it variables and what this is is this is where you put all your variables hence the name and um, all your variables um, it's called booleans boolean just like that and make sure you have that static when you're putting new variables in so what we can do real quick is we can make a menu equal false so what that means is your boolean which is called a menu you can name it whatever you want and it's gonna equal false so that means um, by default it's already false so we can go back to GUI in game and just to make a quick toggle method uh, you're gonna want to put if statement and then uh, parentheses check key and key is capitalized or the K and key is capitalized another parentheses in there keyboard with a capital K and then key in all caps underscore up and that's all caps as well you're gonna wanna open that up with a squiggly bracket and whatever you put in here is going to um, it's only going to be toggled on when you press the up key that's why we have that if statement so let's just do font renderer right here let's just paste this in there copy that paste that in there and let's just make let's just change the text to menu and then like I said uh, the second number is how much spacing from the top so if we increase increase that to 12 that's gonna have about 12 pixels I think it's called of spacing so now if we run that oops wait guys I did that wrong that's actually not supposed to be there it can but it might mess a f mess things up. We're gonna want to put um, not variables. Oh no, yeah, variables. Variables. Dot menu. I'll explain this in a minute. Equals um, exclamation point variables. Dot menu. And all that. Oh, semicolon. And all that does is m make it so that um, you can toggle it on and off. 
and now we can put another if statement variables dot menu open that up and like I said sorry if I'm going too fast uh, yeah we got some time I just forgot that we can actually go up to 15 minutes so I've got a lot of time so guys um if check key up that makes it so that um when you press the up key that triggers the variable which is our menu and now this is telling the menu what it's going to do and we want that to draw a string menu or we want that string to say menu um so i hope that made sense again we press the up key that triggers the menu the menu triggers a string which says menu alright so save that by pressing control and save and now run the game if I haven't already told you there's a green arrow on top um, and you just click that and it should run the game if it crashes then you did something wrong so new world and s <laughs> and um see how it's not already there that's because we remember if you remember um, in the variables class we said equals false if I said equals true it would be on right now but it's not and to turn it on we press the up key and there you go it should um, it should um, open that up the menu on off yep it's awesome but uh, yeah um, you guys can mess around with that but um, eventually we're gonna get into more um, more um, uh, I'm sorry just more stuff I guess more complicated stuff is what I'm looking for so yeah guys uh, thanks for watching and yeah uh, look forward to the next video um, this is the end of part one for basics so yeah see you in the next video bye